up traders, what up investors, Ken here from Dyslexic Investor and we're going to be looking at there is a gaming rig, an AMD Pacific uh, chips and GPUs within the new Plaid models, especially with the Model S they just announced as of yesterday, which is currently on sale. So go out, run out and sell everything and buy one. Just joking. Um, looking here at this is pretty revolutionary having a literally a PS5 or like a, a, a pretty high robust PC gaming system inside of a car okay like that's just like mind blown like be, being a, a PC gamer uh, and being a Tesla enthusiast this is just fantastic right like uh, of course AMD we've talked about this on, on the last video about AMD partners with uh, Tesla Tesla within the press release yesterday did not uh, directly talk about it um but there are uh indications uh that is them because from here from using their third party stuff um uh you'll see this uh you can the tesla models you can kind of goes directly to here of course the plaid which is the the new model uh s and going to be the x uh that has like that very uh different uh look into the feel of the uh cabin you have this really huge i think it's 17.5 inch uh screen that can play a multitude of different various games you have that new yoke on the back um and they're not showing the complete uh, back seat but within the back seat there's also a little screen below it so once we show the video here it kind of gives you a better little bit of understanding um, at that standpoint here so let's go ahead and just play this here real fast and then uh, <laughs> it's not PS not PS4 it's PS5 <laughs> so um, there's I think never, really there's never been a car that has state-of-the-art uh, computing technology, state-of-the-art infotainment, where uh, this is literally uh, at the level of a, of a PlayStation 5. So, yeah, I mean, if you think about the future where the car is often uh, in autopilot or full self-driving mode, um, then entertainment is going to become increasingly important. Um, like so I you're going to want to watch AMD movies, on that anywhere, play right? games. Um, you know, use use the internet, uh, just little things you know, things you want to do if you're not driving, and this is a uh, actual PlayStation Five level performance. So we're gonna try to do a gaming demo. So this is a live demonstration here. Yes, it can play Cyberpunk. <laughs> so this is somebody playing the car right now. This is so <laughs> play, playing <fantastic>. live. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's you know like pretty great. You know, so have fun in the game. In the, in the it's gonna be great. So all right. So high frame rate will do 60 frames a second um, with state of the art games. Yeah. <laughs> So even though it can run uh, Cyberpunk uh, at 60 frames per second with having no problems running it at the same level or even better than a PS5 or the latest Xbox is pretty fantastic. At the same time, being the Plaid version, being the quickest in acceleration production car as of today, zero to 60, under two seconds, quarter mile, 9.23 seconds, and well over a thousand horsepower. So more than you would ever want uh, in your heart's desire. Of course, it has a pretty steep price tag at 130K, um, which is quite a lot. I'm not gonna be on it, I'm not gonna lie with you, um, but that's still cheaper than some uh, Porsches and and it's cheaper than a lot of Ferraris and Lambos and it seats five comfortably. And Elon has continuously talked about this, that he's like, we need to make EVs not just faster and better and safer. We need to just blow the uh, traditional uh, models, uh, meaning the understanding of uh, just taking care of making everything just fantastic. Then why would you want to go back to the old style car? And he, he said it multiple times with the press release of like, hey, 
this is a car for 2021 and being the the really the futuristic stuff um within that so yeah definitely a very uh, uh beautiful car uh without a doubt um so let's go ahead and just kind of jump into the chart here we're going to be starting looking at the weekly chart here again a weekly three-year chart as you can see here it has been a monstrous climb for Tesla ever since being added to the SP 500. A lot of chop here since we hit that $900 level here of uh, early this uh, early of 2021. Uh, we're seeing some chop chop coming in here. Pretty common after having a monster year, basically uh, from the lows of uh, nearly 69. <laughs> I didn't know. Is it 69 the low? No, it can't be the low. I'm gonna correct the bar. The low, yeah, the low, the close 80. So it was a pretty okay it, it did get down to it went lower but it, it was it looked like it was at 69 um but you're seeing a huge monstrous run from basically this low all up to 900 dollars, and now seeing a little bit more chop seeing a lot of competitive stuff coming out uh, especially from china uh really them uh promoting and helping of course their domestic car models uh try to beat tesla um and then tesla of course opening up their uh, Austin facility hopefully soon or their factory, their Giga factory there, and then getting more information about the Ber Berlin, AK German, Germany uh, uh, factory as well coming online hopefully uh, by the end of this year, early next year. There's, there's been a little bit of red tape there over in Germany. So with Tesla, looking here at the chart, Again, very chop chop here. That orange line we're looking at is at 34 EMA. That's kind of being some level of support. We talked about that $600 range being pretty significant level of like not precise support. Again, this is a, it's a very volatile stock. Like Tesla is super volatile, ladies and gentlemen. Like this is not a, a heart, a faint of heart kind of stock here. Looking here, going into the daily chart here, we're seeing a little bit of uh, kind of uh, patterns forming here. Uh, we want to really Really kind of get that momentum going because if we're not able to really break and close back above that that 630 to like 627 range we could be seeing we could be continuously in chop chop um yes even though the plaid version uh is out and mostly it was being released it's going to be a smaller percentage of the overall market share like most consumers are going to be going for the y or the three uh and yes the plaid is fantastic but it's kind of a pretty high premium for most folks that are looking at a car at a hundred thousand dollars plus so um i would be more excited about seeing more uh, stuff coming up out about the factories opening and of course the cyber truck news as well um i think yesterday was a, a great showing and live stream and so forth but it wasn't a very large catalyst to see the stock jump up to eight or nine hundred dollars um th that wasn't that really in the cards and, and i actually like to see this pattern because we're not seeing somewhat of a reaction to it which is fine um but having the all these capabilities and especially having that gaming rig uh and really the capabilities of just again the economies of scale if we can get the prices cheaper and so forth we might get uh that in the model y's like why not like maybe they can play the, the little bit more basic or games they're not going to be able to run a uh, cyberpunk but they can play a basic uh, uh 2d side scroller or something like that um or some, something like they can play super mario who knows like basic uh things like that again on the chart here we want to see this line to be crossed here that is the 144 ema seeing a little bit of chop here we've seen that initial line be support now it's becoming resistance on the way down here a little bit um we are seeing as well the volatility coming down a little bit because you're seeing here the implied volatility historically has been coming down fairly low at the same time we're seeing volume coming down as well so kind of coinciding those are basically kind of play off each other at the same sense going into again the understanding of volume and so forth we're seeing that pattern play out here very well so we're seeing the average volume being lower and lower over the last uh couple weeks here now so if you can kind of scroll uh this up here yes sir excuse me if i can do that there we go you can see that kind of that little yellow line there is the the average uh 20 day volume and we've been significantly below that um and it hasn't been trending too well as again we're seeing it if you're looking at this again on this chart really tells a pretty good pattern that if you're if you are 
uh, technically found you're finding this kind of like this uh, uh, almost like a triangle uh, pattern coming through. So we're seeing um, this kind of formation here. So we could be seeing continuously going chop chop into these chop sticks <laughs> um, and maybe seeing a breakout or breakdown. Again, we'll see on how the continuously market goes. Again, Tesla is still very much, it's going to be tied to the S&P 500 now since it's in that kind of uh, funnel, in that index, it's going to be driven by the overall market. It's not going to be its completely outlier stock that it was last year. Okay, you have to remember that now. It's a, the parameters have changed slightly. Uh, it's by, by slightly, I mean pretty severe due to the fact of it's now being uh, in a very large uh, uh, held fund that has to be tracked by a multitude of hedge funds, uh, mutual funds, and so forth. Um, so that buying is going to be going up and down depending on how the overall market does. Uh, it won't be a complete outlier from that uh, pattern. So again, initially speaking, that support is kind of coming in that like tippy top bottom here around that uh, 550 to 560 ish range. Again, doing very wide numbers because again, Tesla does have pretty large jolts ups and downs here. Um, but again, being an optimist on Tesla long term, I think we definitely can see some more chop coming in, especially if we start seeing some markets kind of heat up uh, on volatility, then we definitely can see some uh, aggressive actions coming through within Tesla. Guys, ladies, gentlemen, Thank you very much for stopping by and watching the channel. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe down below and hit the like button. And I'll, I'll catch you guys on the next video or the next live stream. Peace.